Hello everyone, and thank you very much for inviting me to present today. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Michael Mack. I'm one of the fourth year residents here in the University of Calgary Ophthalmology program, and I'm very excited on behalf of our team to present our project, an affordable 3D printed Frenzel goggles for improved nystagmus detection. I do not have any financial disclosures for this project, but one of our co-authors runs a 3D printing company that we used for the development and design of this project. Friends of goggles are used to evaluate involuntary eye movements such as nystagmus. Since their development by the German oralaryngologist Hermann Frenzel in the 1950s, these goggles have been an essential tool in the neuroophthalmology clinic. Commercially available designs for Frenzel goggles consist of a goggle body with two lenses, a backstrap, and a battery pack to power lights embedded within the goggles. However, the traditional Frenzel model goggles include major disadvantages, including size as well as weight, some of them weighing over 500 grams. In addition to this, there is a major issue of cost. Each pair of Frenzel goggles in our research range from $565 Canadian to almost over $1,500 Canadian. There are more affordable alternatives to Frenzel goggles. Bayer et al. designed takeaway goggles made of basin prisms and a metal clamp to uh, clip the lenses onto a patient's nose. Donned et al. designed an affordable alternative to Frenzel goggles. This version consists of a regular spectacle frame with 20 diopter lenses built into it. However, while these options are aff affordable and portable, the alternative cannot adjust for different head sizes and also lacks an internal light source. These options have also not been tested or designed for pediatric populations. Despite the shortcomings of the modalities above, affordable and customizable Frenzel goggles are yet to be available, restricting its potential uses and availability, especially in low resource settings. Our design uses 3D software and 3D printing, as well as easily obtainable components to develop an affordable design for Frenzel goggles for both pediatric and adult populations. This is a proof of concept study. To start, we use two glass pie convex lenses of 20 diopter power from a medical scientific distributor with a focal length of 50 millimeters. This cost us $4.99 per lens, and we purchased it from Amazon. Using Autodesk Fusion 360, we designed and 3D printed a casing in the shape of snow goggles that could encase the two lenses. The size of these goggles was 16 centimeters in diameter, and the lenses were set 2.2 centimeters apart from one another. This print was performed using an Ultimaker 3 3D printer using EcoTough polyactic filament from filaments.ca. The lenses were fastened onto the 3D casing through matching M3 screws and nuts. A light foam strip was glued to the inner contact point of the goggles for comfort, and a Velcro strap was then looped around through the case as an adjustable back strap. Lighting was provided via two small detachable battery-powered LED lights attached to the in lateral internal walls of the goggles. After printing and prototyping, this is what our 3D printed pair of Fresnel goggles look like. Note that the placement of the LED lights is in the internal aspect of the goggles like this, where you were able to turn on the lights here. We've also wanted to highlight that there is a back strap that you're able to put over your um, head. You do need to take glasses off, but then you're able to turn your head quite effectively without loosening the goggles at all. Using three adult testers and two pediatric testers, we assessed peripheral vestibular nystagmus via a rotary chair of 30 rotations and then a sudden stop. We then recorded this through an iPhone and we used comparisons with the same methodology to traditional friends out goggles available in our neural ophthalmology clinic produced by Nagashima Medical Instruments. This is the video of traditional Frenzel goggles. Note there is no internal illumination and requires external illumination through a Finoff trans illuminator. The stagmus can be captured, but it is not very clear, and the external light source has to be focused on the eye for better visual quality. Note with the illumination turned on, the nystagmus, even though relatively small amplitude in this video, is clearly visible with the LED illumination. Both eyes can be examined simultaneously from far away, or uh, one can be focused on one eye with the video camera. This is the fit for the pediatric version in a six-year-old girl and a four-year-old boy. 
Even though it is the same model, it is still relatively clear in capturing details of the eye in two different age groups, and the backstrap can be adjusted. The illumination also provides good details of the eyes in the dark. Here is a video of the nystagmus being captured in the pediatric version. Good. So with our 3D printed goggles, the Velcro strap securely held the goggles to the head of the tester. View of both eyes through the 3D printed goggles were significantly enlarged and well-defined, with similar optical clarity and quality, if not better, to the original pair of Frenzel goggles. With the LED lights, the tester's eyes were much better illuminated, without significant shadows, glare, or distortion. We felt that this allowed for better video capture in the 3D printed goggles compared to the traditional Frenzel goggles. Overall, the 3D printed goggles um, cost approximately $24.34 for the adult version and $23.54 for the pediatric version. In comparison with other affordable Frenzel alternatives, our design we feel is closest to the original Frenzel goggles without sacrificing fit, form, and function. Although increasing in their availability, a 3D printer, however, is required for producing the components for our project. 3D printing also requires the technical expertise to work with 3D modeling software such as Autodesk Fusion, and the battery-powered light source is not rechargeable and requires complete replacement. However, in summary, our 3D printed Frenzel goggles was able to significantly improve on patient comfort, provide clear magnified view of the eyes while eliminating visual fixation, and was significantly more affordable than its original counterpart. It also has the advantage of having a pediatric model available. Thank you very much for listening to our presentation. We hope to conduct clinical studies utilizing both sets of goggles in the future in neuro-ophthalmology and neurovestibular clinics. Here are my references.